Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, we're gonna do this in studio today because that's just the way shit works out today. I am shooting on the Sony ZV-1. I changed it again from the setup that I had it on, which was the Sony Bluetooth grip, simply because of the fact that that damn head, even with this light ass camera, it still jiggles and it's driving me crazy and I can't stand it. So I have it back on the Yolanzi battery grip with the ZDO aluminum tripod legs and I still have the Joby tripod head on there. That was just because I happened to have that in, in one of the magical drawers. I today ordered a Yulanzi mini ball head to put on this to use for this whole setup. Normally, again, this was sitting up there on my overhead setup, but then I started thinking, yeah, you know what, I'll start vlogging with it again. I did it this weekend. You saw the video. I was in Pleasure House Point and those tiny ass batteries I chewed through two of those just in the small amount of time that I was back there. I'm not carrying 10 batteries with me. I'm not gonna be on a constant charging loop. It's just a complete waste of time. It is the biggest downfall to this camera is that tiny ass useless battery. So we're gonna be using the battery grip because I have never depleted that. And I would rather charge this once than charge 10 little batteries. So that's how I'm going forward with that. I was asked, what my settings were as far as like what picture profile am I using because I did mention that I am using the fake S Cinetone for this camera. So in the description you will see the settings that I'm using for fake S Cinetone for this ZV-1. It's pretty much the exact same thing as the fake S Cinetone I did for the A6600s and the one that I have on the A7C with the exception of that there is something in here that is not available that is available on those other cameras and that was cine 4 it doesn't have cine 4 it has up to cine 2 so anyways all that is listed exactly you go into any picture profile whichever one you want on this one i happen to choose picture profile 9 because it was the first one i came up to when i was scrolling and then i went in there and i made all those alterations that are down in the description you can see, like I'm looking at, at my screen, I, I think they're really good representations of the colors that are actually behind me and my skin tone and everything. Obviously I like it because I had it on both my A6600s and I put it on my A7C. And now I've got it on the ZV-1. You may have noticed that there's another change. I'm wearing color and it's freaking me out because this is the first time in over a year that I have worn something other than black clothing. I have my summer wardrobe now, so I bought six of these Carhartt shirts, whereas I used to have six of the black Carhartt shirts, and I bought three more pair of black Carhartt shorts, ones that actually fit for my fat gut. So I'm not always like, oh, this is so tight. So I got shorts that actually fit me now. But all that being said, it's freaking me out, man. I keep seeing this bright ass color and I'm like, oh, huh, okay. But it's good because now you can see representation of color like I can on the screen. It's the shade it's supposed to be. My skin looks the way it's supposed to be. All the colors of the books and the shit that's on the shelves looks the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to run with this fake S Cinetone on this camera as well. I don't really see any reason not to run with it on any of the cameras that I have because I think it looks great. The downfall when you're doing it on those other cameras like the A6600 and the A7C is that when you alter everything the way that it was altered it only allowed you to go down as low on the iso as 200. not the case on this this has gone below 200 and i think that must be the difference between the cine 2 and the cine 4. don't know don't care either way it's all coming together and it works just fine so right now i have the zv1 set to the picture profile 9 which is fake s cinetone and i have it set to shutter priority and I am at 1 50th, and right now in the studio, it's set to F1.8 and ISO 500. I've got it on auto white balance, which is pretty much what I'm going to always have it on. I'm just gonna let the camera do as much auto as possible without actually being on auto. And that's that. A very quick video today, just 
that I'm using this ZV-1. I've got it back on the Yulonzi battery grip. I've got another ball head coming on Wednesday. Once I get it, I'll show you how I have this all configured out with the cables and the little cable ties and this, that, and the other thing so that it's as easy as possible for me to use this camera to vlog and to pop it off and put it back up on the overhead if I need to. Yay, everything's good to go. Again, if you look down in the description, you will see all my settings for fake S Cinetone. If you ask me questions on why I chose anything, I didn't choose anything. I copied it from Evershot and then I just altered that one spot that didn't allow me to choose Cine4. I did not think of this. I did not go through all these settings and play with them to figure out what looks best. I did not reinvent the wheel. Someone else already had the wheel. I just borrowed it. And there you go. So, as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.